Gaming Geek here with a short tutorial video on how to paint the Warlayer Industrial Train. I did a review about Warlayer's sci-fi terrain overall and if you haven't seen that go ahead and click here. This video I'm going to be showing you basically how to paint the train as I used a different method for that. I really like this train set a lot and I needed a futuristic sci-fi version of a train for some of my star breach scenarios. It uses a little bit more intermediate techniques than what we did with this base set, which was super simple to paint. Uh, so we're gonna be using some rattle can spray paints. I don't use an airbrush at all, but I'm gonna show you how to mask using salt. So let's go ahead and dive right in to how you can paint this set really quickly. Pick any rust colored primer and flip all of the pieces upside down because you wanna be spraying from the bottom up since the rust color is going to be primarily focused from the bottom but spray all of the surfaces and then once it's all dry just use any cheap hairspray and then sprinkle some salt on there and what I suggest is this Morton coarse kosher salt because it's got big pieces of salt in there as well and you can use regular salt too if you want smaller granules. Next, grab whatever base color that you want. And here I'm using nutmeg from Rust-Oleum. And pretty much putting an even coat on all of the pieces. After that's dry, I'm gonna use a lighter tan and this is camouflage color camo sand. And I'm only spraying from the top the top down so I don't want to coat the whole model just having a lighter color effect from the light above and so I'm only pointing it down and doing small spurts like this I'm not doing a continuous spray like I did with the intermediate tan color and just give it a couple of presses on the rattle can and pretty much this is the effect that you want to go for, sort of a gradient of lighter on top. And then once you brush off, and I just use warm water and a toothbrush to brush off the salt, this is the effect that you get, which I think is pretty good. And then also, um, I spray painted these with black using the same method first, going with a rusty color and then black on top. And then you'll notice that I didn't completely wash off the salt and so it leaves this sort of white frost on the model which I think provides more weathering on it. So I actually like that effect and I didn't, if you don't like it you can completely wash it off uh, under some hot water, running hot water. But I think that little bit of white just adds more weathering to it and same thing happened here. And sometimes you can't completely get all of the salt off so there's a little bit of a gran granular surface that's there and that's fine too again there's uh, some corrosion that might be happening and it just gives that nice weathered look and then here's the gun which I think uh, turned out really well especially this side I like sort of the gradient of rust that is concentrated on the bottom but there's still specks of it on top of the model and so you can really control as much as you want how much salt goes where and then now I am putting on some silver or any other um, highlighting color that's different from the tan. And then I'm also using this copper as well just to mix up some of the metal uh, from the silver and having both silver and copper to give this sort of a steampunk kind of um, color scheme to it. And then now um, I'm applying a wash and again I just use Goober Town's um, formula for a homemade wash because I use so much of it on terrain. I'll go ahead and click here if you need that link but I'm applying it pretty much to the entire model and where you can just streak it downwards so that it looks like sort of wet uh, raindrops or rust marks uh, is streaking down but here at the top I'm just covering the entire model and then um, where I can, I just streak it towards the bottom. And this is what it looks like dry on the main engine. It does darken up the colors quite a bit. And so if you want, you can go back and highlight with lighter tan uh, if you desire to do so. I chose not to do that. I didn't feel like it was totally necessary, but I think it turned out really well. 
Uh, next step is I just painted all of the wheels first with black. Also these bumpers in between the cars, I also painted black. And then I just go onto the edges of the wheel with silver. And then finally, I spray painted the tracks with the rust red and just did the tops silver. Because if you look at real train tracks, that's how it works. And here's a shot of me using it during one of my battle reports. If you want to check that out, go ahead and click here. But I think it turned out super well and was a centerpiece to the scenario. So there you have it. Please like if you liked the video and if it was helpful for you. Check out the links below if you want to see where I got the STL files to 3D print this train set. And make sure to subscribe and check out my Patreon page as we are giving away terrain as a raffle for any of my Patreon supporters. So go ahead and check that out as well. Otherwise, happy gaming and we'll see you next time.